Hello everyone, Eric here. While back, many of you followed my tutorial on how to self-host NAN using AWS EC2 instance. And while it was a really powerful way to do it, but I know from your comments that it wasn't easy. You run into maybe complicated network setups or confusing EC2 pricing. And let's be honest, it was just a hassle to get running. So on the flip side, using NAN's official cloud plan is easy, but those costs can add up really fast. And you always have to worry about hitting the execution limits. But what if you can actually get the best of the both worlds? The power of self hosting with unlimited workflows, but also a very simple and flat cost that's less than a Netflix subscription. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And we're going to set up our NAN on a Hostinger VPS. Their one-click installer takes all the AWS complexity and just get rid of it. And you get full control, no execution caps, and you actually own all your data. Plus, Hostinger is running an amazing Black Friday deal right now, so it's the perfect time to do this. In this video, I will walk you through the entire process on how to set up with their KVM2 plan and how to use this one-click install to set up everything, and then we will take a look at how to test it with a real workflow and to make sure that our NAN server is fully stable. And finally, I will show you how to monitor your server usage so that you're always in control. And by the end of this, you will have a powerful private automation machine that's running 24-7 for you inside of your server. So pretty much that's what we're gonna cover in this video. With that being said, if you're interested, let's get into it. All right, so to get started for self-hosting our NAN solutions inside of Hostinger, first thing first, we're gonna to navigate to their landing page. So currently you can see that there is a Black Friday sale right now, and we can be able to get unlimited workflows and be able to have unlimited concurrent executions and also access to the community nodes with this option right here. So in this case, what we're gonna do is if we scroll down, you can see that we have a couple plans that we can choose from. And the most recommended option for the minimum requirement is KVM2 and above. So in this case, I'm just gonna choose KVM2 right here. So here you can see that we're navigated to the checkout page and right away you can see that we have our KVM2 and this is basically where we can select how long we want to subscribe for the KVM2 server. In this case, we can choose 24 month, one year or just one month. In this case, I'm just gonna choose this one for now. Now, in terms of the order summary here, if you were to use the checkout code for Eric Tech, in this case, if I were to type in Eric Tech, it'll give you a additional 10% off on top of the Black Friday deal that you have right now, which is perfect. And also with this deal, you also get a free domain for one year with this order, which I'll show you just in a second. So in this case, I'm just gonna complete this order right here and click on continue. So after we chose this plan, here we are navigated to the onboarding session. So here in terms of our server location, I'm just gonna choose a location that's closest to me. In this case, this location right here and click on nest. And in terms of our operating system, I'm just gonna simply search for NAN. And here is basically our application we're gonna install on our server. And in terms of our secure your VPS access, either here we can choose our root password or we can use our SSH key in terms of accessing our VPS. So here I'm just gonna choose an option to continue. And after that, it's basically going to set up our VPS server. And now you can see that we're navigated to the dashboard and simply you can see that we have our NAN server completely running right now. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on manage application and this will basically navigate us to our self-hosted NAN to set up our owner accounts. All right, so once I basically set up for the owner accounts, here you can see that this is our NAN workflow, which here, if I were to create a new workflow here, you can see that I can be able to click on a template, for example, and here if I were to choose one of the template here, choose this workflow right here, and here I can be able to skip over for the credentials here, and here I'm just gonna click on skip, here you can see we have our workflow right here. I'm just gonna click on save, sign out for the application. If I were to log back in, you can see that our data is still saved, which means that our data is still persisted inside of our VPS. All right, so just to make sure that everything's working, I have also created some workflow inside of the account. And here you can see that it has run over 300 executions in the past. 24 hours. And if you were to look at the uh, workflows, you can see that we have multiple workflows that are currently active. So roughly around like seven or eight workflows that we have inside of our accounts. And I have been monitoring them and pretty much we're safe to say that this VPS server is pretty stable, that is able to run all the workflows that we have. And also I have multiple credentials saved onto the accounts and it has done this no problem. All right, so now if I were to come back to the VPS inside of our hostinger, here you can see that this is our dashboard overview where we can be able to see the current usage on our server. For example, our CPU usage, right, in the past 24 hours, and also the memory usage, as well as the disk usage right here. And then we also have our incoming traffic, the outgoing traffic, and the bandwidth and such. 
Uh, there's also the option for you to get a snapshot for the backups. So this will capture it like this time and we can actually be able to restore back to that version of the memory in case if we want to go back to a certain version of our server. Other than that, if you want to look into more detail on your server usage, where you can be able to see the detail on the server usage, the ramp, the disk usage in the last week or month or year to be able to determine if KVM2 is the right plan for you. For example, based on the stats, if you feel like your CPU cores haven't hit above 10 or something like that, maybe you can try to downgrade. Or if it's like really above like 90% or something, and maybe it's time for you to upgrade to KVM4 or 8 or such based on your usage, right? So basically that's how you can be able to determine which tier you want to use based on the server usage that we have. And lastly, early in this video, I also mentioned that you can also claim a free domain with this offer. So if, if you go to the domain portfolio, you can see that there's a claim your domain right here. Simply just gonna claim domain. Simply you want to enter any name and you can see that it's gonna end with .clod. So let's say if I want to enter for Eric Tech, for example, you can see that it's able to check for availability and you can see that this domain is available, which will get a $0 for this the entire year. And you get free domain for this entire year. After that, you will get charged renew for a regular rate. And like I mentioned, if you're interested, please make sure to use the coupon code for Eric Tech to get additional 10% off on top of the current deal that we have. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.